Hey Guru Nation, welcome back. So I'm here. This is employee number three at Yuma Clinical Trials. It's Daisy. How's it going, Daisy? Going very well. How's your first week here? You did a lot. Can't yeah, believe I've, it's been a week. Yes, it's been very busy. Um, I've been learning a lot of things that I didn't know before. Um, that goes on behind the scenes, a lot of data. So. And your background's unique because you come from an academic medical center, which, you know, people that watch, they know I'm not a huge fan of. I do think they do a lot of things well at certain levels, and they're definitely needed. But from a career perspective of, especially an entry-level person, like you were with them, right? That was your first research experience? Mm -hmm, yeah. Compare that. Well, first of all, just to explain kind of what you did there and then how it differs from what we do here in only a week only a week <laughs> so um what i did there was basically a lot of patient recruitment um i would do a lot of primarily face-to-face -face recruitment so any patients that were coming in that were in the waiting area waiting to be seen by their doctors um that's what i would focus on and I would just tell them about the program and if they wanted to participate while they were waiting. So that was kind of our strategy and it was pretty successful. I remember in the interview when I interviewed you, mm -hmm. one of the good things that you had several like things I liked. I'm going to be honest, one of the things I was worried about was your experience with an academic medical center. But it turns out you weren't there long enough to get like the bad habits from typically those people tend to get. What was the culture like there when you were there? Yeah, it was pretty bad. Um, management was not supportive. Um, they were, you know, they were pretty um, tough on everyone and they expected a lot. Just for example, during my interview, my managers were very respectful very professional and i had honestly that was the best interview i ever had i had never been treated so nice in an interview until we interviewed you <laughs> no they were better huh they were <laughs> from that interview i was expecting what they told me what they promised me they said they would be very supportive every step of the way whenever i had problems just call them they would help me so on my first day it was the complete opposite like I would, you know, not just my first day, just the first couple of months of me working there. Whenever I needed help with something, I would call them and it was just constant beratement over the phone. They would just yell at me. That's true. You told me your first day on the job was horrible. Yes. Wait, okay, now it's making sense because <laughs> I remember you told me after your first day, because Monday was like the only day I was here this week that I was like not having a million things going on. I was relaxed Monday. Monday, you told me at the end of the day, thank you for a good first day. And I, I remember you said that now. Mm -hmm. But at the time, I'm like, okay, <laughs> see you on day two. But it makes sense now. Yeah. What do you mean no. by day one? So, yeah, so the, it was just constant beratement. Like, they would just yell at me. From day one? Yeah, from day, day one. Day one, they yes. started yelling at yes. me. Yes. You know, treating me bad. Um, it was all over the phone because um, I was in Los Central California. And they were. But how do they go. yell? It's not even appropriate the, to yell. I know, I I know, but that would happen, and it was almost on a daily basis. But but like, what but could you true. have possibly done on your first day to cause the yelling? Like you don't nothing, even know what you're doing. Nothing. There was nothing. There was no reason to for them to behave that way, really, because. But was it like uh, you had a task that they gave you, and? So what they wanted is they wanted me to recruit. That was their, okay. you know, obviously, like, that was their most, um, that was what they wanted the most because they're recruiting Well, we need them. that here, too, but yeah. we're not yelling. I haven't yelled yet. <laughs> <They're>, I don't <laughs> yell. <laughs> their recruitment, like, their numbers were not good. Uh, San Diego, they were not performing well. So, I, what I now, you know, looking back, um, what I get from that now is that they probably had a lot of pressure from their management. Mm -hmm. And they would put all of that pressure on me in return. On day you know, one. <laughs> on day one, exactly. Wow. So day one, I, you know, I didn't have access to many, to anything, right? Like we have to make a bunch of accounts to all the systems. But they d they already wanted me to recruit even though I could not do anything. So it was it was frustrating. 
and then it just kind of became stayed the same or got worse throughout it just your... stayed the same throughout yeah okay so day one was consistent with the rest everything, of everything yeah Anyone but you from... picked up some skills too from yeah there, right? yeah oh i learned a lot i learned a lot it was like for me it was a baptism by fire and of course i'm even though it was not a good experience I w i'm still very grateful for everything yeah because i learned a lot and well yeah that's what i was saying earlier mm -hmm. like keep that in mind yeah you know and I am going to keep that in mind. Um, you mentioned whenever, if I ever become a manager, of course, I'm going to keep that. I'm always going to keep that in mind and know not to be that manager, not to be that way to people. Um, it's important for people to understand that um, sometimes smaller sites, it's not like small sites are perfect either. I know plenty of people that work at small sites where they also get yelled at and things are inappropriate as well so it could be that not all amcs are like that also mm -hmm. just want to be fair to people it's interesting to see that these problems occur at all places mm -hmm. what are you thinking about like the first week this week there was a lot going on give us a rundown basically and like what you learned so far what's different from where you used to work and all that people are curious like what's different between like the smaller clinic and yeah. the bigger one because the bigger ones are prestigious you yes. know, a lot of people are attracted. They're like, oh, I want to go there. Yeah, it's more the prestige. But what I really liked so far, um, this is my first week, but I, I've noticed a difference, you know, obviously right away. And what I've really liked is that I'm much more involved in the entire process. And at UCSD, they wouldn't let me do much, um, but I always wanted to learn. I would always ask my managers if there was more I could learn. And they basically would brush me off but i guess you know that's kind of their you know the deal with them brush off but what <laughs> what do you mean like without getting into like confidential stuff but like mm -hmm. what were you what did you ask for and how did they brush you off um just getting more familiar with this entire process like with all all these you know logs that we have to do right like i've been learning about all of these logs that i had no idea even yeah, we still existed. got a bunch left to do. Too. <laughs> All these, uh, it, it, for example, like today we had a we had a um, an adverse uh, event. Right? SAE. Yeah. We had our first SAE here. So yeah. that's something that like I never would have gotten exposure to in UCSD. Like uh, doing that entire process, I, I would have never even known about. Um, and also like working on IRB submission, like things like that, I would never even have the opportunity to learn about. Um, mm -hmm. So all of those things are very interesting to me. And that's what I've always wanted to learn more about. And I'm very grateful that I can learn more about that in, in this place. Like, even though it's a small site, to me, it's all very interesting. Your, your background for those, we should have started with this, but your background <laughs> is phlebotomist, yeah. medical assistant, What's your like goals long term? Do you think for this industry? Um, I really want to learn more. I want to grow. Um, I want to see how far I can go. You know what the possibilities are for me branching out. And I think this is a really good foundation. Learning all, all the tasks, all there is about um, clinical trials. So I think this is a great place. Oh, to great, start. great to start and to finish because we're just getting started. We're just starting, like it's only been a year and a half and really, really it's only been seven months since it was anyone other than just me and Jaime. Like Desiree was our first employee. We just hired her in July. So it had, or maybe it was June. It was not even a year that like we're managing people. Cause when it was just me and Jaime, we're not, training anybody we're not explaining anything mm -hmm. you know but now that we're like a real company or becoming a real company we're just getting started we've got three pis we could have the opportunity to get more that's one of the reasons why i wanted you guys to kind of get a hang of this stuff so i can go out and get more doctors and even in, into some of the other communities mm -hmm. there's opportunities there so, by the way guys daisy has a linkedin right she's doing everything right and Super, by the way, I actually talked to Daisy years before I ever even thought Yuma Clinical Trials was going to be a thing. I didn't even know I was going to live in mm -hmm. Yuma at that time. Yeah. And I was asking Daisy, because of her work at the AMC, hey, can I bring this study to your site? 
because a CRO hired me at that time to bring a study, which it didn't work out, but Daisy was on it, on it. So thank you, Daisy. That was great. You said you would bring it to your supervisor. Mm -hmm. What happened? He never got back to I don't know if he got back to you, but nope, he never got back to me. Nobody got back to me. Mm -hmm. I figured. I figured. But um, thank you, Daisy. I really appreciate it. You guys will be seeing more of Daisy uh, as we progress. Her career progresses. Mm -hmm. You're going to see more. So thank you, Daisy. Everybody go connect with her on LinkedIn underneath this video. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Take care, Daisy.